All right, so welcome back to another satisfactory video. Today, I want to make a steel plant because I am so I'm so fed up with crafting steel items for conveyor belts and such. It's really starting to drive me insane. So I think this is the best spot to build a steel plant. There's a bunch of iron nodes here, two pier and two normal ones. Those are coal nodes, not iron. There are a lot of iron nodes over here to choose from. This one says temp. It's What's purity temp? What does that mean? There's lots of iron over here. Lots of pure nodes of iron to be specific. Honestly, if I was building my iron factory, this would have been the better spot to do it because there's like a zillion iron nodes over here. But we're going to build a steel plant over here because it seems like the best fitting location to do so. I think I want to build it right here. So pretty much on top of this flat area over top of this gassy spot. I don't really know if that's the best place to build it due to the gas. Um, and the gas is kind of all over the place. So maybe right here might be a good spot just up before the gas and maybe just around this valley, not covering up the valley, but kind of just in a loop around this valley. Are you okay, Bean? Well, there's three of you here. Jesus, I didn't even see the other two. Anyway, we also have two Caterium nodes right here that I didn't know about. Okay, well, this is an iron node. I'm frozen. This is a pure iron node I didn't know about. Okay. Anyway, so I want to kind of lay out factory design wise. I don't know how I'm going to bring the grid of the factory all the way over here. That's going to be fun. Hmm, I'm going to do that. And that's going to take a hot minute. Give me a second. Okay, so I've done this little line here, kind of what I was thinking I want to do. I've also done a little bit more thinking and more blowing up like everybody loves. I blew up a path and blew up all the scenery and foliage, pretty much all the natural life from this, these entire sections right here, because what I plan on doing is I have railways going around the world. That's the plan I want to have for moving resources between different factories, right? So right here, there'll be a rail line that comes in. Now, all my rails will run parallel, so they'll have parallel rails. So it'll be two rails running all over the world, one going one way, one going the other way. So I'm going to have a junction right here for the two railways. And then there'll be a set of them that goes this way and a set of them that goes pretty much this way. So this way will go up to a essentially this pink tree area and this way will go pretty much to the desert and any associated areas close to the desert over there this way will probably go towards the other desert over there and any associated areas over there so that's the plan for that i also need to figure out where i'm gonna set up a structure here that would make the most sense for my factory itself i, th I was thinking right off of here but then i was like well i'm putting an intersection here so it wouldn't be the best spot to build a building because there's going to be a giant interchange for several different directions right here so it's not the best spot obviously i thought about right here which i think isn't too bad of an, an area but it's not very much space like this isn't even remotely close to a lot of space like if i was to do a section down here i would do it the track and the stations will be set up on top of here you know station station blah blah, blah you know what i mean and i think that would look cool just to have the station that the train stops at outside of the actual factory building itself i feel like that would look cool i don't really know i i think i'll just go with that because it's the easy solution to my problem that I'm having so yeah I'll go with that and then for the building I think I want pretty much this whole front section to be a giant glass window maybe with a few interruptions like uh just uh beams like this that just interrupt it going up and down like that more like structural beams if you will I guess it's something to break up the flat windows just because a flat window wouldn't look super good so I feel like just having something in there just to give it a little bit more depth might help out a lot more okay so a bit more construction work later I've now got kind of a frame made of what I think this will look like so this just be a very plain boring building you know flat and long i added this little section in here kind of just to break it up so it's not so flat along the top so that there's a little bit of deviation in the height i think it looks good and i think it will look good this right here you could probably guess what this is gonna be if you didn't know it's a giant glass box because i i do that kind of thing so the next thing i need to do is probably actually finish this building off and probably uh, build the giant glass box and put the windows in and all that jazz so that's could be fun okay so quite a bit of progress later i have finished the building not quite i have not quite finished the building i haven't done the back yet the back's not finished uh, we've got the train station all properly hooked up and everything we got this nice interchange here and i quite like it and i believe these signals are incorrect well they're definitely incorrect they're blocking stuff i don't really know i have to figure out the signal stuff to make sure that it functions properly when i do set up the train line later i hooked up the miners Wired them all up into the building so that's all done i put up a couple light towers just to light up this area because it's quite dark even with the sun being at 
peak time. It's quite dark in the area here. Inside, we got the main power grid hookup that comes in from over here. So that's pretty nice. This comes in, goes to that classic thing that I do when I hook up power. Uh, it does look like I finished this properly. No, I didn't. I lied. So the next thing I need to do is actually hook up where the iron is getting put up. So I'm going to go put up a train station over where the iron is. I'm going to run the rail lines over to the uh, iron place. And I think the track, because it's on the right hand side, because you know, the right hand side is the proper side to drive on. The train will run this direction on the right hand side. So it'll probably go up and around the back there and reconnect back up to this track when it gets over to the iron station over there. I'm going to do that. So now I have set up the train track to the iron area. So this is where the iron's being mined. We got our wonderful fully overclocked miners, which is bringing in more iron than we need for the steel plant itself. But we can use this iron elsewhere if need be in the future. So I just hooked it up to the station and I've connected up the power to everything. So it's all connected up and all I need to do is actually bring a power line over here from the factory so that we can wire this up specifically for different systems like the iron miners and then the station be on their own power grid, blah, 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 blah. The next thing we need to do is actually start setting up the proper factory related buildings inside of the building over there. So that's the next thing I'm going to go and do. When it comes to the constructors and stuff, I want to make a hundred of the different steel products per minute. So steel beams and steel ingots is what we're going to do for now because I want to make encased industrial beams, but I'm not going to do that right now due to the fact that I don't feel like making a concrete setup here so to make a hundred uh what is this steel beams yes to make a hundred steel beams per minute we need seven or wait a minute is it seven or is it nine yeah. we need seven constructors to make a hundred steel beams per minute and we need five constructors to make hundred steel pipes per minute because it's five for 20 and this is 15 i believe yes 15 then for foundries we need 10 foundries but that's rounded up 10 foundries rounded up for this these seven guys here and then we need five or I think it's four foundries for these five machines right here. So I've gone and set up the constructors over here. We got our steel beam constructors and we got our steel pipe constructors. So those are set up and hooked up to their respected wires, which we will hook up properly into a proper wire system later. But the next thing we need to do is actually set up the foundries. And I think we're going to put that right here, I think is probably the best choice of action to do so and i've made a little blueprint for the foundries so we can use this to place but i'm out of aluminum sheets i'm i'm broke again okay so with the help of bean over here i've finished putting up the foundries and added a storage system over there so all of the outputs that are made here so our steel beams and our steel pipes are wired up and hooked into these two different storage setups here so that we can access the steel beams and stuff whenever we need to and there's plenty of space for more storage and more buildings for the factory if need be we got our four foundries over in the corner here for the steel pipe, I believe, and then our Henra uh, foundries for the steel beams. Bean is very happy that he is kind of, I don't know what the hell this thing does. This creature is a strange creature. The next thing we need to do is actually wire the power for all of these up into a central power system. So that will be controlled right here, I think, because, you know, that's where I always put the power grids is right in the middle of a giant big glass box because, you know, it seems cool. And we obviously got one more thing that we need to do isn't that right bean we needed to set up and hook up all the belt lines to the respected resources so we've got our uh, i think this is iron right here coming up and then we have our coal right here coming up and connected into the foundries. So that should be all hooked up and ready to go. One more thing that we do need to do right before we actually start hooking up the power is actually hook up the train lines and make sure that they are properly functioning. I'm going to do that real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so the train lines should be all hooked up properly now. I'm assuming it seems like it was working and the train is currently running along the track over here. As you can see, it is going to the iron station right now. The next thing we need to do is, excuse me, Bean, we need to hook up all of the power to the main uh power storage building so i think over here i want to set it up obviously and i think i'll probably lift the platform up and then maybe i don't really know just a, this is a platform such like so and then we'll have the power connections up top and then we can have like staircase or something coming up the side you know and you know railings going around the side i think it would look really cool like that so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and i will be right back so that's all the power now hooked up so we got the main power switch to control the main power for the factory we've got the lighting grid we have got our train station, the coal miners, we got the iron miners, we've got our steel beam production area and our steel pipe production. The one thing I didn't hook up that I did in every other one is a primary priority switch. I didn't actually make a primary priority switch for this factory. I didn't think about it till after I hooked up all the power and I was like, I'm not dealing with this problem right now. So we got 
just the basic power switch for that which works just as just as good i think it just means that all of this won't turn off um by one switch if the power grid drops it means that all of this will turn off individually instead which is a little not less ideal but you know it'll it'll be fine but with that being done uh that is all we need to do for this factory and currently the factory is functioning properly as you can clearly see we've got steel pipes we've got steel beams we've got steel moving we got iron moving we got some coal moving it's all moving in a grooving and i'm happy so we got our materials being thrown into the storage containers right now and we, we've got our steel materials being thrown in the storage containers and i'm happy about it and that's great everything seems to be functioning properly but that will do it for this episode if you enjoyed please make sure you leave a like subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one